I would like to explain to you about the introduction of plastic. As we all know, the term plastic include products. They are synthetic or semi-synthetic polymers. This is formed from organic evaporation or the addition of polymers. Their plasticity makes it possible for plastic to be molded, extruded, or pressed into solid object of variation shape. This adaptability such as being lightweight, durable, flexible and also inexpensive to produce has led it to widespread use in work. The basic element of the most plastic are made from the combination of different elements which are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, and also chlorine. For each different plastic-based component production, use different additives. For example, polyester is used to make clothes. Polyphenyl chloride, or also known as PVC, is used to make pipes. Polypropylene are to make straw. Pro polyethylene are to make plastic bag and so on. There are many ways to benefit plastic waste instead of throw it away and cause the pollution. Firstly, we can reuse the plastic waste. What is the meaning of reuse? means that we use the plastic waste again from multiple times in its current form instead of throwing it. Usually, we can find plastic waste such as plastic bottle, plastic bag, and plastic component in our home. So how to reuse all of this plastic waste? Firstly, we can reuse the plastic bottle to plant our plant such as flower and vegetable. We also can reuse the bigger plastic bottle, such as a real bottle, to make the book crack by cutting them into the suitable shape. We also can reuse the plastic bottle by modifying it into a pencil case. And lastly, we can use the straw to make plastic flowers. If you practice to reuse plastic waste in our daily life, you can get a lot of benefits. You must have brought your drinks in plastic bottles during activities such as jogging, cycling, exercising, and even to the picnic, right? So, did you throw the empty plastic bottle into the right place? Ha! Did you know that all kinds of plastic used in our daily lives can be recycled? For example, plastic bags, bath liquid soap containers, or shampoo bottles food containers, buckets, drinking bottles, and many more. You must be wondering, why this plastic waste need to be recycled, right? Okay, for your information, plastic waste can take up to 700 years for just one plastic bottle to break down in a process called biodegrading, which is also the process that happens when a piece of fruit rots. Plastic waste that will throw without control also can give negative impacts in our environment. As plastic decays, it can give off chemicals that get into our water and air which can make people, plants, and animals sick. So, it is important for us to play an important role in saving the environment by recycling waste materials. What it means to recycle plastic or how recycling occurs. Okay, plastic recycling is the method of gathering waste plastic and reconverting them to new useful items. Plastic recycling that this basic amount of plastic does not go to waste. Instead, 
we can reprocess the materials to get other products, such as new plastic bottles, bags, containers, clothes, furniture, and more. So, what are the processes involved in recycling plastic? Recycling takes many steps. Firstly, waste plastic products are collected from homes, offices, public places, and other sites. After collection, plastic products are sorted by the type of plastic they are made from. Then, the plastic materials are washed to remove impurities include paper labels, dirt, and particles, remove glue, and additional chemical that plastic materials may contain. Next, the plastic materials are ground up and shredded into flakes. The next process is to identify the class and quality of the plastic, then separate it based on their features for further processing. The last process is compounding, where the pellets are bundled up and sold to companies that can be melt them and made into many different products. Plastic serves lots of purposes in our daily life. So, next time, when you have anti-plastic bottle, don't just throw it away, but dispose it in a way that makes it possible for it to get recycled. Have you ever heard about repurposed plastic? So, basically, repurposed plastic is used uh, a waste plastic for a different purpose. There are one fun fact. Repurposing plastic by turning them into a useful or an RT product can be profitable way to help clean up the environment. There are many examples of DIY products that turn plastic into a usable material. One of the examples is plastic spoon lamp. We use this plastic spoon to make lamp. Hmm, interesting right? So, how to make a plastic spoon lamp? Hmm, let's go, we check it out. So, let's see how this uh, spoon plastic uh, lamp is made. Firstly, cut the plastic spoon up to its head and set aside the handle. Then, use water bottle and cut the bottom part of them. Once done with cutting the plastic spoon, start to paste it on the water bottle. Then put some glue stick on the tip and side of the spoon. Then attach the spoon on the water bottle starting from the bottom. Make a hole on the cap of the water bottle to insert the electric wire. Lastly, splice the wire and then insert the light bulb. Then plug it and your spoon lamp is done. Besides the plastic spoon lamp, there are many more examples of DIY and RT product that you can make. Many DIY products and RT products that we can make by repurposed plastic. So, let's be creative with our plastic waste. Oh, hi there. As you can see, I have so many plastic bottles with me here, isn't it? Well, apart from use, repurpose, and recycle, we also can reinvent the used plastic, such as plastic bottles. What is the meaning of reinvent the used plastic? Reinvent the used plastic means that we change the used plastic into an entirely new and different item. The reason of inventing the used plastic is to ensure the plastic never end up as waste or worse polluting the environment. Actually, we can make shoes out of recycled water bottles. For your information, the famous brand Adidas has even and make more than 11 million pair of shoes with recycled ocean plastic. You must be wondering, how does it work? So, let's see. Well, it's all start at the beach. They collect the trash from coastal areas like the Maldives. The waste is then sorted and the recovered plastic is sent to an Adidas processing plant. Adidas use plastic bottles that contain polyethylene terephthalate or we call it as PET. 
The one that can be used, such as caps and rings, they were sent to normal recycling facilities. Then, these PET bottles are crushed, melted down, and finally, the waste were dehydrated to form little plastic flakes. The flakes are heated, dried, and cooled, and were cut into small resin pellets. Next, the pellets are melted into filament and spun into a polyester yarn. Actually, Adidas not only make shoes out of this bottle, but these ocean plastic threads are used typically in jerseys and now in the upper parts of shoes. Ocean plastic has already debuted in sportwear used in college football, baseball, and so many more. Reinventing the plastic bottles into a brand new item has brought so much positive impact towards our world. And for this invention of sportswear out of the recycled bottles, it protects the beaches and our precious ocean. of contaminated plastic material in the environment. Plastic is a non-biodegradable substance. Plastic waste impacts the water like rivers, seas and pollutes our water very much. Examples of plastic such as food wrapper, plastic bottles, plastic bottle caps, plastic grocery bags, plastic straw and the next most common items. Although plastic is becoming a big trick for all of us, still this problem has often been overlooked and underestimated. This is because people do not look at the long-term effect of this small, easy to carry bags they use in their everyday life. We cannot stop this production entirely, but everyone can make a significant contribution thing before you win. Save energy and nature resource help to reduce pollution and reduce food for land. If we start implementing the all the arts into our everyday life, the different we will have on the environment will become exponential. Once we've perfected them, we should start sharing them with our friends and showing them all the ways they can easily reduce, reuse, recycle, repurpose, and repurpose. Who knows, maybe we will pick up some new tips along the way. That's all. Thank you.